You made it. Unveiling the phrase. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into a popular English phrase, you made it. It's a versatile expression that carries a punch of positive meaning. So, let's explore when and how to use it to enhance your English conversations. When someone exclaims, you made it, they're not talking about crafting something with your hands. They're actually celebrating your arrival or achievement. This phrase can be used in two main contexts, arriving somewhere or succeeding in doing something. Imagine you've been traveling to a friend's house, and the journey was long and tiring. When you finally arrive, your friend greets you with a warm, you made it. Here, it's a way of saying, I'm glad you've arrived safely after your long journey. Now, let's say you've been working on a difficult project or striving to meet a challenging goal. When you reach your target, someone might say, you made it as a way of acknowledging your hard work and celebrating your success. While we're avoiding phonetic transcriptions, remember that in English, intonation can change the meaning. For, you made it. The stress typically falls on the word, made. It's often said with a rising intonation at the end, especially when celebrating an arrival. Let's practice with some scenarios. You arrive at a party late, and the host says, you made it. We're so happy to see you. After passing a difficult exam, your teacher smiles and says, you made it. Congratulations. You made it is a small phrase with a big heart. It's a way to express happiness for someone's presence or achievements. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use, you made it, confidently in your English conversations. Happy learning, and remember, every time you practice, you make it a step further in your language journey.